हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शुभ रंजन आई एस माई नेम इज शुभांशु जयसवाल एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट अ डेली करंट अफेयर्स प्रैक्टिस नाउ इन क्वेश्चन वन टूडे वी हैव रिसेंटली भोरम देव वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी वॉज इन द न्यूज इट इज लोकेटेड इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट्स सो इफ यू हैव बीन रीडिंग द न्यूज पेपर यू वुड नो द राइट आंसर हेयर इज छत्तीसगढ़ सो भोरम देव वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज इन द छत्तीसगढ़ हाउ एवर द यू पी सी इज नॉट गोइंग टू आस्क यू दिस इजी क्वेश्चन दे विल डेफिनेटली इंक्रीज द डिफिकल्टी level so you need to prepare such places in news very comprehensively you must know the important national parks wildlife sanctuaries nearby the rivers the kind of uh, mountains etc okay now talking of bhoram deo wildlife sanctuary you can see the map so this is a crucial area where madhya pradesh maharashtra and chatisgarh are sharing the border fine now near the bhoram deo wildlife sanctuary you can see this is the entire green patch and it is having number of important regions like satpura tiger reserve pinch tiger reserve kanha fen then achanak mar and then amarkantak etc and this entire region is actually connected by connecting corridors the dark region uh, dark green region is the tiger reserves okay so this is not just an important wildlife sanctuary rather it is the entire ecosystem in itself and hence you must know this and remember this now one more thing this wildlife sanctuary bhoram dev wildlife sanctuary is getting this strange but important name from a important temple nearby this temple is bhoram dev temple and it is dedicated to lord shiva fine so these are the basic details you must know now also here you have maikal hills of satpura range so in this region only you have maikal hills etc fine now let's see now why it was in news because recently there has been a request uh, a pil in chatisgarh high court which requested to upgrade the status of this uh, uh, this bhuram dev wildlife sanctuary to the tiger reserve however uh, chatisgarh high court has not you know uh, accepted that request and has dismissed that pil so as of now bhuram deo is a wildlife sanctuary only fine had it been the case it would have become the tiger reserve wahan par control wahan par jo protection ka level hai wo bad jata restrictions bad jate now so this is all we have discussed fine why in news we have discussed location this is kabir dham district so the district where it is is called kabir dham district maikal hills of satpura range is there bhoram deo temple which is known as khajuraho of chatisgarh is here rivers fen and sinkri and you have number of species here as you have seen that the area is very lush green fine now this is that bhuram deo temple from where it is getting the name in fact near the temple there is lake as well bhuram deo lake however that is not significant but temple seems to be important look at the details fine now next question one nation one election is a proposed electoral reform in india that aims to so they are asking you the aim fine number 1 to simplify the voting process for the general public no combine all state assembly elections into a single event not really synchronize the schedules of various elections held across the country now this seems to be the right answer so the basic idea of one nation one election is to synchronize the schedule of all the three levels of elections in the country and that is why it is also known as simultaneous election fine uh, don't worry much don't uh, try to analyze much this topic is very very important and hence shubhra ranjan ma'am will cover it in a separate video so you we got your back there so just keep reading the news the basic news however as far as the concept is involved the because this is not just a small thing okay this is not just a news it is a concept in itself fine so this is very important for both your prelims and mains and hence shubhra ranjan ma'am will explain this in a video fine now let's go ahead 
So which of the following state or UT has launched India's first AI school, pioneering future focused education? So this for this the correct answer is actually Kerala. You can imagine Kerala education में सबसे अच्छा है and अपनी education को उन्होंने एक level और आगे किया है future oriented बनाकर by incorporating AI in their curriculum. Fine. So this is that particular school, Sant Giri Vidya Bhavan. I hope I don't need to explain much the need of this particular school. Okay, the aim, as you can understand, innovative education and readiness to harness AI's transformative potential. AI के अंदर इतना potential है जैसे आप आज के time पे देखिए Chat GPT ठीक है तो यानी आपको content के मामले में AI कितना helpful है, photography हो, आपकी video editing वगैरह हो. In almost every field, in fact, there is a one artificial intelligence app which is in fact helping the modeling industry okay so a lot of money in is involved in you know uh, carrying out these fashion ramp walks etc but ai is going to replace a lot many roles so definitely it is having the transformative potential now the next step is to prepare our students to prepare our generation to adapt this fine and the important aspects like the machine learning, fine, the data analysis, etc., is being imparted in our education system. Let's go ahead. Now, consider the following statement with respect to India's latest warship, Mahendra Giri. Now, this is the seventh and last ship of the Project 17A Frigates series. Yes, this is the correct statement. Frigate series means warship. Frigates का मतलब होता है warship. ऐसी ship जो naval war के काम है. Fine. It derives its name from a mountain peak situated in western ghats within the states of Maharashtra. Now this is incorrect. Mahendragiri you know otherwise as well. It is located in the eastern ghats of Odisha. So here statement two is wrong statement one is correct fine now uh, this is that ins mahendra giri ship you can see recently it has been launched fine it was launched at this location mazagaon dock ship builders limited in mumbai they have also played the role here fine it was named after eastern ghats mahendra giri peak in odisha Earlier also there have been various projects like Vindhagiri, Nilgiri, they have been named after mountain ranges, fine. Now let's go ahead. Now with respect to LEGO India project consider the following statements. Number one, it aims to detect gravitational waves from the universe. Now yes, this is the correct statement. Second, it will be located in the Tamil Nadu, 450 km east of Chennai. Now, this is incorrect because this is going to be operational in Maharashtra. Fine, near Mumbai. Now, it will be the first of its kind in the world. Again, wrong. It is actually third. Now, what is LEGO? Understand. Laser interferometer gravitational observatory so here you are doing what aap laser ke interference se gravitational waves ko observe kar rahe ho aur usko samaj rahe ho fine in short ye hota hai so here only one statement is right now let's go ahead now this is a basic idea to give you the basic idea as i said laser ko use kar raha ja raha hai yahan pe kya ho raha hai laser ko bhej rahe hain do parts mein yahan tak gayi ye reflect hoke aayi theek hai same here ye gayi reflect hoke aayi is point pe ab dono light infer inference hua inka theek hai us resultant interference ko observe kiya gaya and yahan se jo hai gravitational waves ko analyze kiya gaya theek hai so this is how it is working 
no need to go much in detail now you can see the similar for this very experiment this project lego india is being built fine now so it's world's largest gravitational wave observatory it the project is already underway fine it is in the hingoli district near mumbai in maharashtra aim is to basically detect the gravitational waves and this is going to be the third facility already two facilities of lego are there in the us fine so this all again the similar diagram nothing big almost the idea is same fine so this all was there in news fine uh, i hope today's concepts thode se difficult thode se tricky hue honge but samajh mein aaye honge agar nahi samajh mein aaye all you need to do is you have to just write it down on the comment section iske alawa bhi agar koi cheez aisi news mein hai jo aapko samajh mein nahi aa rahi hai feel free to ask have a good day happy learning